hello, 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 everybody. I am here with the box opening, and this one is a little bit different, but I'm so, so excited. This baby is going to be adorable. I've only seen like two little previews of her, so for the most part, I'm gonna be totally surprised, and I'm pretty sure there's also a gift for my niece inside. It is her Christmas present, so let's all be really quiet. So my niece doesn't know what she got for Christmas. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys can say whatever you want in the comments. But let's go ahead and open this box up. I love box opening days and I'm so excited for this baby. Open her on up. And here we are. This is so exciting. Okay, so I made a Taylor Swift doll. Let me show you guys. Let me fix her up a little bit so you guys can really see her. Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles and I worked together to make these adorable Taylor Swift dolls. And she was selling them on her website, but nobody was really interested. So we decided she was gonna keep one of the dolls I made. And I'm gonna be giving this one to my niece for Christmas. And I hope she loves her. I'm gonna try to get her some more outfits that Taylor Swift would actually wear, or maybe some Air Tours outfits. But anyways, I hope my niece loves her to death. She is so pretty. And now, what for all of you have been waiting for is a baby. <laughs> I know, she's all in pieces right now. But let's get her out of the bag, and I'm going to put her together, and then we're going to meet her. Let's get these limbs out. So, shipping is so, so, so so expensive and this kit is a really big kit it's like six to nine month size so to help save Chelsea from pumpkin sparkles babies on shipping we decided that she was just gonna send me a baby in parts because I can totally assemble her so that's what we're gonna do today we're gonna put this cutie together and meet her so this is kind of a fun little different box opening because it's I'm literally opening a box, but I'm gonna put the baby together all on my own, and that's gonna be so much fun. Let me see if I can get another limb with one hand, because I didn't set my, my tripod like I should have. There's her pretty fist. Isn't she so cute? I am loving what I have seen so far. I was gonna say her arm, but <laughs> I do love her arm. Here is her body and I have all the waiting materials so we're gonna put her together today. Let's go ahead and grab one of these legs. Oh we're grabbing both legs. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm not good at this one-handed am I guys. Sorry about that. Let's check out this leg. It is so gorgeous. She painted this doll so beautifully. It is also such a neat experience to get to like really, really look over the doll's painting and really get to experience it without the doll being put together. It sounds really weird, but I am loving this. This is really pretty. Let's get this other leg out of here. I have been waiting on this pickle forever. Not Chelsea's fault um, at all. I mean, I was waiting on the kit forever because I got one of the last shipments of the kit and it did not arrive for a long time. But look at this leg. It is gorgeous. This baby is gorgeous. And let's look at her COA. She is 3688 out of 3700. Yeah, like I said, I got one of the last pickle kits, but I'm so excited. I absolutely love pickle. I've heard a lot of hate from people who don't like the pickle kit. And while everybody is entitled to their opinions, I am definitely also entitled to mine. And I love the pickle kit. Absolutely love. Oh my God look at her look at her look at that hair look at that face she is gorgeous oh my gosh this is so fun I could just twirl around the head look at this pretty baby girl she is so pretty let's go put her together now got my brand new bag of glass beads and my funnel and my scooper so let's go get started putting some glass beads in our baby doll. So for those who don't know, this is how you weight a reborn baby doll, make them nice and heavy, is with glass beads. 
there's been some, I shouldn't say rumors, but there have been people in the past who have used things like gravel from like their fish tank or their front yard or beach sand. I personally don't like that option. Uh oh, we're having trouble getting sand to go through the bottom of my funnel here. Let me check that out. Oh, better. Anyway, so there's people who've used things I personally wouldn't use to weight their dolls, but I like using glass beads. I'm actually working on a doll now for realsies. I'm realsies painting it and it's almost done. I'm not happy with it totally because I feel like I've made a bunch of mistakes, but also when I'm painting a doll, I'm looking at it like three inches from my face. And I think most people who collect reborn dolls are not staring at the doll three inches from their face. So I'm, it's just probably okay. <laughs> and I probably shouldn't worry so much. But she'll hopefully be up for sale soon. I just have to put like the finishing touches on her like this where you wake the baby doll and then she'll be up for sale. I'm going on vacation for a few days coming up soon. So she'll, I haven't decided if I want to put her on sale while I'm on vacation or before or I'm leaning towards after that way if she sells right away I can ship her out right away you know. Because I don't want whoever buys her to have to wait. This is probably my favorite part. It's just like listening to the glass beads fall into the doll. It's so peaceful, so nice. It's like the ocean. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm feeling where the glass beads are because I want them to come up to about her knee. That's like my arbitrary place to stop that I came up with. Well, not really me who came up with it. So. Last year, I went to Chelsea's house. She lives across the country from me. So I flew out to her house and she taught me everything she knows about making reborn babies. And that's what she told me to do was to put the glass beads until about their knee. And yeah, that's what I've kept doing. Also, I'm gonna try not to make this doll too horribly heavy because I am totally a lightweight. I cannot, it's hard for me to pick up the bigger babies that way like 20 pounds sometimes even 10 or 15 it's hard for me to pick them up because unlike a real baby that's just that is just dead weight um so it went to about her knee so i'm gonna lay the limb down now and i'm gonna go to the next one and then i will fill them with stuffing once i'm done filling them with glass beads Whew. i love you guys so so much i feel like i don't Say that enough but I really wanted you guys to know just how much I love you guys and how much I care about you guys I've been praying for so many of you especially those who are living like in the southeast United States after the big hurricane that just went through last weekish and now there's another one coming to Florida and it's gonna go like right through for Florida so I've been praying for all of you who are living down there and I just pray for all you guys in general all the time because I just I want good things for you guys and I feel like this was a really weird topic for me to go down but <laughs> I don't know I was just thinking I guess like a lot has happened in the reborn world like at least on the comments of my content recently and at first, I was feeling really, really bad and really, really awful by some of the comments. And then I realized that there's also a lot of people who love me and care about me. And I'm really grateful for that. I'm really, really grateful for all of you guys. Even some of the haters when they say really, really awful things. Um, I can't even repeat what some people were saying on TikTok a few days ago. I don't know if it had to do with me or if they were just like people who don't like dolls. That's something I don't want to get into because the things they were saying were just horribly inappropriate for me to repeat on YouTube. But I don't know. I just felt really awful and really, really bad. And then I remembered that there are a lot of people who love me in the doll world and in real life. And I thought about how I love 
all of you here in the doll world so much. So yeah, that's what that tangent <laughs> was for. Oh man, this is really slow. And I wonder if you guys even like this part of the video where I just talk to you in Philadelphia fast speeds. And also randomly, my brain always looks at this, looks at the glass beads and is like sand. I don't want to call it sand, but it's not sand. And I know a lot of people after like they've opened up dolls and found that they were filled with literal beach sand, that they don't like hearing the word sand and dolls, which is totally fair. So I try not to say it, but my brain is silly and it still sometimes sees this, <laughs> all these glass beads and it's like sand. Let's call it sand. But we're almost done with this arm. And then we'll move on to the next arm. And then we'll fill up the head and the body. And then we'll have a baby. I'm so excited to have a pickle of my very own. And this is such a fun little bonding process, getting to put her together. It's like I'm making her whole. I'm making her real. And that's so sweet and so fun. We're almost done. Almost there. So what do you guys think of the pickle kit? I've heard a lot of opinions and I've seen a lot of opinions, but we haven't really talked about the pickle kit here on my channel because I guess I know on like Instagram, people are always talking about the new kits or old kits and like rating them. And I don't really do that because I don't know. I think every baby, real or fake, is beautiful in their own way. So I don't see the point in rating them in my personal opinion. But yeah, still, let me know what you guys think of the pickle kit or what your favorite kit is. I think my favorite kit in the whole wide world is and probably always will be James by Sandy Faber, which is what my Paisley kit is, or Paisley kit. My doll Paisley, my smiley baby, she's James by Sandy Faber. I know I have a lot of smiley babies, but my first reborn doll, Paisley. Um, I just really love smiley babies. There's something about having a really awful, no good, bad day, and coming home and seeing a happy baby. That just, it makes the whole world better. And I don't know, that's part of why I collect dolls is one, they're my hobby, but two, they make me feel better on really bad days. And that's always really nice. That's why I bought Paisley, actually, was I saw her smiling face and I was just like, this is back when I was in the military years ago. Um, and if you didn't know, being a woman in the military especially is really hard. Being in the military in general is really hard. But being a woman, oh, that's hard. That's really hard. So I was having some really bad days. And I saw Paisley's happy little face um, on the artist's eBay account and was just just fell in love with her and was like, she is everything. She's gonna help me on my really bad days. And she has for years and years now. Um, I've had Paisley six and a half years. So I've been quote unquote in the reborn hobby for six and a half years, I guess. That's crazy. I've been on YouTube now just like two months ago was my seven year anniversary on YouTube. I started out with baby born dolls and baby alive dolls, dolls I still really love and enjoy, and moved on to reborns. I'm just, I don't, I don't know. I guess I'm just a doll collector in general. It doesn't matter what kind of doll to me. I just love all dolls, because like American Girl dolls. <laughs> I know you can only see a little bit of it right now, but I absolutely love them. I have a big doll house for them that my husband made and I'm always setting them up and dressing them and having fun with them. I don't make very many videos about them because I feel like ever since um, I really started making reborn content, that's all people really want to see from me. Sometimes I'll deviate from that and I'll make whatever content, but like the other day, I make content about Zaf creation. I have the little catalog right here. And I did hear the comments. I promise um, I am going to do a little thumb through of this catalog and show everybody everything slower <laughs> than I did last time. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just love baby dolls and dolls in general. Um, we were at an arcade the other day and I was able to win 
a Barbie, like a Barbie from the Barbie movie. Um, that doll specifically, I had her when she first came out and my niece really wanted her for Christmas, but nobody was able to find her in stores. So <laughs> quick last second, I was like, Santa accidentally dropped this doll off at my house. Oops, <laughs> here you go. So that was really sweet. And now I have the doll back because I want her at an arcade. And I feel, I don't normally just talk about random things. So this is kind of nice to just like talk about all the things that come to my mind to you guys. So thank you for listening if you're still here. And if you skip forward till when I finish the doll, that is completely fair and completely understandable. <laughs> Cause yeah, but. I always love hanging out with you guys. I wanna do more live streams now that I have a painting area set up again where we can just talk and I can paint dolls and we can just talk because I miss that. Oh, there's like a little leaf in here. Oops, I don't know how that got in there. That's okay. We'll just keep filling this hose. This is a, um, a pantyhose, like a stocking that you put on your feet. It, it's never been on anybody's feet. Don't worry, it's brand new. But I fill them up with the glass beads and I fill up two. I put one inside the baby's head and the other on her bottom. So it gives her that nice weight. And this is the one that's gonna go on her bottom. So I'm filling it up like extra so that I'm able to split it in half. So it's more like a butt. <laughs> Um, cause yeah, that's what at the bottom of our butts is a butt. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh man. When Kirsten goes off scripted, I say weird, silly things. But I think we're almost done filling her up with the glass beads on this end. We still got to do the head and then we can put her together. I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited. But I think also, I'm gonna let you guys go. I've talked for 12 minutes now while filling up babies. Y'all are probably super tired of me. So I will be back when I'm done filling up with glass beads. Now for more of a fun part is stuffing. Yay. So I have accidentally dumped, <laughs> while we weren't talking, I have accidentally dumped beads everywhere from the limbs not being plugged up. So gonna go ahead and plug them up with stuffing so I don't leak any more glass beads anywhere because that they're hard to clean up they're so tiny and I think they're just gonna be in this room on the floor everywhere for the rest of eternity oh well I am clumsy sometimes I do things wrong but I think maybe everybody every human is sometimes a little clumsy and sometimes messes up a little bit I have to remind myself of that a lot. <laughs> like, I am not the only person who accidentally drops glass beads everywhere. I am not the only person who is a little bit clumsy. We all, we all have bad days and that's okay. I have to just keep reminding myself of that. There we go. She's gonna be so cute when I put her together. I hope you guys like her when I put her together. Right now she looks a little bit like, <laughs> a little bit like Halloween because she's a disassembled doll. I think one thing I need to start doing when I paint dolls is when I mess up so bad that there's no way, there's no way I'm recovering the situation. It has just gone bad. I should just remind myself that they can be Halloween decorations. <laughs> You, sometimes you just have to put things into a different perspective. Thank goodness that the doll I am currently making that I think I messed up on, I don't think I messed up so bad that she has to be a Halloween decoration. I'm going to sell her for really cheap, so hopefully someone out there will want her and love her. Now, let's go ahead and stuff the head with some stuffing. She's so sweet. So I've stuffed, I've made, I don't know, seven dolls, I think. Yeah, I've officially completed like seven dolls. 
and, and those are dolls I've made myself. And one thing that I really, really struggle with is making sure the body is stuffed enough. So I'm gonna try really hard to get it right this time. And hopefully I do. But also, I'm not selling this baby. This baby is just mine. So it's okay if I get things a little bit wrong, because she's mine. So now I'm gonna start zip tying limbs to her body. And I'm gonna make sure that I put the right ones on the right side or I will cry, oh my gosh. And I've done that before too. I have totally accidentally put the wrong limb in the wrong spot, like put an arm in the leg hole. On accident, of course, but oh man. Sometimes I just do silly things, but I'm human. Okay, this looks good. It's a little too tight for my liking, but that's okay. It'll be okay. Oops. Yeah, that should be okay too. Let's go ahead and zip tie her leg to her body. I also have trouble with making sure I get them tight so they don't fall off, but I also want them to move a little bit so that they're a little bit poseable. So I'm also trying to get better at that. Being able to pose a doll and keep their limbs secure. Like with this one, I don't think I got it quite right, but that's okay. Hopefully the leg looks just fine <laughs> when it's all said and done. So now that her legs are pretty much on there, I'm gonna take stuffing and start stuffing this body. Let's get them all in there, nice and stuffed. So what I've figured out is you gotta kind of pretend you're working at Build-A-Bear Workshop and really stuff them. Although maybe I should look into, you know how Build-A-Bear Workshop, they have those big stuffing machines? Maybe I need a big stuffing machine for my doll that does it for me. Maybe then I'll be a little bit better at it. Or maybe stuffed animals are just a different thing. And it's a little bit different stuffing them. Gonna make sure to fill her out and leave no like weird gaping holes. Oh, good, her leg moved. <laughs> oh man. She looks so silly right now, doesn't she? That's okay, she'll look like a baby soon enough. Soon enough, she will be a cute little baby. And I want her, I want to make sure she's super stuffed too because the pickle kit is a chubbier kit, so I want her to be, you know, a little bit chubby. And one thing I didn't think of, I just thought of it right now, I don't think I have any diapers for her that are her size, oops. Oopsie doopsie, I'll have to go get some, but that's okay. Maybe I do. I have a bunch of cloth diapers, so maybe I have a bigger cloth diaper somewhere. But, oh, by the way, because I don't know if I mentioned it, the stuffing is down by my feet, the big giant bag of stuffing. So if you've been hearing crinkling, it's me grabbing stuffing. We're just gonna stuff her on up. I think now is probably a good time to put on some arms. Yeah. Make sure her arm is good and on. Actually, I'm gonna twist her around a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. Y'all can see what I'm doing. We can all see what I'm doing, except baby pickle over there. She cannot see. Her eyes are closed. <laughs> and she's not quite ready yet, so maybe Maybe she doesn't, well, dolls in general don't have thoughts. I'm not gonna go down the road of them having thoughts because it is not actually Halloween yet. It's just the beginning of October. We're not gonna think about dolls coming alive yet. <laughs> just kidding, I don't know, I'm just silly. Okay, she's looking good though. I think she's turning out really good. Well, obviously Chelsea did all the really hard work of painting her and I'm just assembling her, but I think I'm doing an okay job and that she's gonna be a really cute baby. Nice and movable still, but won't fall off. Good. And let's continue our stuffing. And I have stuffing right here. <laughs> Don't have to go back into the bag. So this is where I have the most trouble stuffing is once I get up to the neck, because I want there to be enough room to put the doll together still with the zip tie. But, you know, I don't know. 
It's something I've struggled with, but today I'm gonna do a good job. I make them too floppy, I guess, but I don't want a bigger baby to be floppy because she's not a newborn. Usually bigger, older babies can hold their head up. Like, um, I'm thinking Pickle is gonna be more like six to nine months age. So let's say seven or eight months. And yeah, at least my niece, when she was that age, could hold her head up and she was playing a little bit more. She wasn't like a floppy newborn anymore. I think that's normal. Okay, maybe just a little bit more stuffing and I think we'll be good. This is crazy, I did something right, yay! Yay, you're gonna be so cute, Pickle. She has a name that isn't Pickle, but until I put her head on fully secure and dress her, we're gonna call her Pickle, and then I'll announce her name once she's done. But look at this, this is pretty good. This is good, and she's not too heavy, not too heavy for me, although I haven't put her head on yet, so we'll have to see. I'm gonna just add a little bit more stuffing to make sure I don't mess this up. And now I'm gonna lay you down, cutie. Thank you for your help. And it's time to put her head on. Oh gosh, now that I, just seeing her head on. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Okay. And her body's nice and chunky. I love it. Okay. So I'm just gonna try to move everything to the side so I can see what I'm doing as I'm zip tying her head. I don't wanna, I wanna make, you know, just like with the limbs, want to make sure she can move a little bit, but also keep her head on so it doesn't just fall off one day. That would, you know what? Crazier things have happened. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is really good. I'm proud of myself. I think I did okay. Here she is. Oh my gosh, she's incredible. Chelsea did so good on the painting. Like, now she looks like a real baby, doesn't she? Cute. Oh gosh, and that big belly. I made a big belly. Look, guys, I did it. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so proud of Chelsea for her hard work. I'm proud of myself for making this baby. Um, putting the baby together. I don't want to say making. <laughs> Sorry, Chelsea, if you hear that. I didn't mean to take credit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and clip all the zip ties. I can with scissors. Normally I use nail clippers. So actually I think I'm gonna go downstairs, bring her with me, grab some nail clippers and clip these off. And right as I picked her up, her head fell right off. Oh my gosh, okay. That was awful and a little funny. So obviously I didn't put the head on right. Oops. Uh, I'm gonna go get another zip tie and fix this. Oopsie doopsie. Let's try this again. Hopefully it works this time. I went and grabbed another zip tie that I'm gonna try to tighten up here. I feel like I need another set of hands to do this though. So. Oh man. I know they say when you have real babies, you need <laughs> lots of hands, but who knew you needed them with fake babies too? Okay, I'm gonna prop you up with my arm. Uh-oh, hopefully you'll stay. There we go. Hopefully that's good. Actually, I'm gonna tighten it even more because just in case. Okay, I can move her head a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall off again. Oh, poor baby girl, has gone through so much. It's hard being a baby, huh? Perfect, now that she's all put together, I have, I found this watermelon cloth diaper. It's big enough for a toddler, so it's definitely big enough for her. Let's go ahead and put her in her cute little diaper. There you go, sweet girl. So cute. I am so in love with her. And it's so fun to put her together. It's like a little bonding process. And it's actually kind of a clever way to bond with the doll when you first get her. Yeah. And I highly recommend everybody learn how to put a doll together because you never know when something's gonna happen. Like I went through TSA a few months ago and they ended up taking my doll's head off. So I had to put her back together 
And I don't know, it's just an important skill to have if you collect these dolls. Anyways, I'm gonna put her in this cute little strawberry dress I got. It's six to nine months and it looks like it should fit her. So it's so cute. I love strawberries. I love fruit in general. So she's gonna be my little fruit loving baby because I got her a Halloween costume too. And it's a strawberry. So she's gonna be so cute. My little berry girl. I'm not naming her anything fruity or berry though. I'm gonna name her Ellie, which um, when I was 17 <laughs> on New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day, um, my friends and I, we went out to Walmart back when Walmart was 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, we went to Walmart middle of the night, New Year's. And we went to the doll section and I hadn't played with dolls in so long. I was trying to be a grown up. I was trying my very best. To not like dolls anymore and to be a grown-up which you know obviously <laughs> didn't work out that way 12 years later but we went to the store and I found this baby doll and I loved her so I bought her and I named her Ellie and she lived she alternated between living in my closet and living next to my bed basically under my bed because I had a trundle bed so sometimes she was under the bed, sometimes she was next to the bed because I could um, pull my bed in and out. Look at her. But this baby is gonna be named after her because I named her, I named the baby I got when I was 17. I named her Ellie. And so this baby will be named after her. This is Ellie. And she's so cute sitting up. I love her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm in love with her from her feet all the way up she looks like such a snuggle bug like she just wants to give you a big old snuggle aren't you so pretty i think she's gorgeous hi cute girl hi ellie we're all so happy to meet you sweetheart hi cutie seriously she is so pretty i love this sculpt oh my gosh well we put a doll together, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you, Chelsea from Pumpkin Sparkles Babies for letting me adopt this absolutely gorgeous baby and having so much fun putting her together. Um, Chelsea always has lots and lots of babies. So make sure you guys go check her out. She's pumpkinsparklesbabies.com. And I think now she has two babies up for sale. Like as of the time I'm making this video, she has two babies up for sale. So go check her out. One of those babies she has for sale, I helped her make. And by helped, I mean, I just put on the beginning layers and then everything went horribly wrong. And I was like, nope, can't do this. Cannot do this. So Chelsea went and finished her, which was so sweet of Chelsea. But she is selling that doll right now. So go check her out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe out there, especially if you are living in the Southeast with that hurricane coming. I love you guys. Stay safe. Remember you matter and you're magical. Okay. Bye guys. Bye everybody.